Good morning everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, today um, we are going to play um, a little visual novel. It's called um, Magical Diary Horse Hall. So it's like, it's just like a small cute little like dating sim anime kind of visual novel. Um, a good friend of mine actually bought it um, and I played like little bits of it. I think I'm just past like Christmas time. In my, in my first kind of save. Um, it's very cute, I love it. Um, it's quite like a simple style um, and I just really wanted to record this for you guys just because it's, I like it, I don't know. I like it, leave me alone. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so this is Magical Diary Horsel. Um, so there is like the male counter version. Um, I think it's the male kind of version, so it's Magical Diary Wolf Hall. Um, so this is kind of like the anime style, there's a couple of like love interests, so it'd be interesting to see like who we go for this time. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but there's something going on upstairs and I don't know what. I don't know what. But we're gonna go ahead and go to New Game. Oh, Mary Sue, that's not gonna be our name. Let's get rid of that. Uh, that's not how you spell it either. Bear with me. Yeah. Oh, what's our surname? I've never had to do a surname before. Um. Oh god, I just had a heart attack. So I use OBS right to stream, and I'm also using it to record. And I thought I'd click the start streaming button and something came up on the stream chat and I'm like, I'm streaming this right now, but I'm not, it's okay. I just had a little heart attack. That's just given me an idea for our surname. No. I promise I passed English in high school. Lovely. I hair. Ooh, lovely flowing locks. Nice cute little ponytail. Hmm. I went for that one in my other playthrough, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna go for our little ponytail. Ought to be nice and natural. Okay. Face. I love it. I love the eyes. Eye colour. Do you have like a light blue? I think that's as light as we're gonna get. A skin colour? Oh god, we're a ghost. That's fine. We'll go for what? Because I'm a little on the chubby side. So you know, we're going we're going for realism in this. That's what, that's what we're going for. It all started about three years ago on my 13th birthday. So yeah, so this is like a story, but you can also like interact with this, it's pretty cool. I was playing tag in the back garden with my friends. But when I tried to jump out of the way of the girl who was chasing me, I jumped so high that I flew all the way over the hedge. Gosh darn it. Don't you hate it when you just fly all the way over the hedge? At first, I couldn't believe it was real. No one else could either. Within a few minutes, they'd all convinced themselves that nothing unusual had happened. Then the next day, a strange old woman showed up at my doorstep to offer me the choice for my future. And now here I am. 16 and on my way to Iris Academy, an actual school for magic. The school lies in a hidden valley in the Green Mountains, about 150 miles from my new home in New Hampshire. My parents drove me out here, but we've already said I said our goodbyes. I asked them to drop me off at the outskirts of the school grounds so I could walk the rest of the way on my own. Because I'm edgy and I don't like my parents, like, I don't like people seeing me with my parents because, you know, that's so uncool. Any dad would cry and make a fuss of me before letting me go. And I didn't want my new classmates to see me for the first time looking like that. Actually, I'm surprised Dad agreed. He's always been a little overprotective, as all dads are. Maybe he's finally recognising that I'm not a little kid anymore. Yeah, nah. All dads will recognise their children as little kids. Anyway, it means I have to carry my own suitcases, which contain all that I have to my name for the next nine months. 
I've got to carry her. How are we? We got so hard done by. Not many clothes because we'll be wearing school uniforms all the time. But I have some books, pictures of my friends and family, and decorations for my new room. Wish you could actually decorate the room. Sadness. There it is up ahead. The campus looks more like a very posh boarding school than a home for wizards and witches. Pretty buildings, lots of trees and wide open spaces. Summer is still lingering here. The leaves haven't yet started to turn. I walk a little faster, feeling slightly too warm in this long robe and cape. At least we don't have an owl going through platform nine and three quarters. Also, if you haven't already, pause this video and go and get yourselves a brew. Flower beds and arches stretch out around me. So many doors and windows, and they all look the same. There are three residential halls for girls and three for boys. I've been accepted to Horse Hall, which is for adventurous girls, whatever that means. The other two girls are the butterflies, who are probably girly girls, and the snakes. The slithery snakes. I'm not sure who would want to be a snake. I'd much, I'd much rather be a horse. Unfortunately, I'm not exactly sure where Horse Hall is. I have a letter about freshman orientation. Why well, don't I put it? I look down at my suitcase while I walk, trying to remember which pocket I stuck the letter into, when suddenly, oh no, <laughs> boink, I bump into someone. Cue noise effect. Oops, sorry. He's an older man in school robes with no hall symbol on them, which probably means he's a professor. This is not a good first impression. Sorry sir, fun fact, I believe he is a love interest. <laughs> because you know, professor student relationships. <laughs> a new student I see, and what might your name be? He has a lovely dark and rich, with a refined British accent, and he doesn't seem to be too angry with me. I relax a little. Artemis Streep sir, I just got here and I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be. My voice trails off as I notice he's no longer looking at me. Instead, he's paging through the large book he was carrying. Miss Stream, is it? Wild Seed. How unsurprising. Wild? More than likely. A complete waste of my time. You have no idea how much you've been given, and you will throw it all away. I was about to- I was about to swore that, sir. Have you seen my eyes? He scribbles something into the book and then slams it shut. Ten Dimitris, not a promising start. No. Class hasn't even started and we're already failing. Oh, oh you can't see it. Oh, hang on. There we go. So I've just moved my face now into the corner. I'm up here now. Um, it's just covering the date, but you don't really need to know that. Pay more attention to, to your studies than you do where you are walking this stream, or you'll find yourself expelled from this academy before the new year. Wow, someone's mad. With a snap of his wrist, he wraps his cape around him and stalks away. I haven't even started school yet and already one of my teachers hates me. <laughs> Oops. After a bit of looking around, I, f I found the way into the girls' dormitories and located my hall. There are nine doors in this hall, only one of which is labelled a bathroom. If each bathroom has at least two girls in it, I'd hope it's a big bathroom. My own letter informed me I would have two roommates, but didn't tell me their names or anything about them. I haven't seen anyone wearing a horse insignia. All I can do is find my room and wait for them to show up. To be fair, I've only ever dorm shared once, and it was the most scary time of my life seeing who was gonna like walk in the door. I was like, what if they have a child? Like, what if I don't like them? What if they're loud? What if they have parties every day? They weren't, they were sound. No children either, which is good. Here it is, room three. I open the door and pick up my suitcases. Walking inside, I find a fairly ordinary looking bedroom. No skulls or drippy candles or black light posters on the walls. No incest or crystals anywhere. Unless I just hadn't, hadn't had time to unpack yet. A girl who had been sitting on one of the beds stands up. Um, hello. You're a horse. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Hi, I'm Artemis. Are you my roommate? No, she's just sat in the room for, you know, giggles and swores. One of them. I'm Ellen. 
That's Virginia's bed, but she went out to talk to somebody. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Virginia. The state, I mean. I'm not sure where Virginia the girl is from. I see up my head. What? You don't have much of a southern accent. It's not that far south, and my family wasn't from there. How about you? New Hampshire. Not too far from here. The local and all. Are all those books yours? Yeah. There aren't any computers here, so I brought my old encyclopedias. No computers? <gasps> but how are we going to Facebook and connect and YouTube? And how are we going to do the tweets? Also, what are encyclopedias? It's okay, I know what encyclopedias are. They're big books of knowledge. And those are textbooks for the classes I would be taking this year at my other school if I hadn't left. You must be a really good student. Not really. I probably I probably wouldn't even open them. Aha! A girl after my own heart. But I didn't know what I, what I need. I didn't want to need something and not have it. To be fair, when I was going to uni, I would always bring like six books out of the, out of the library, barely read one of them, and then take all six back. Like, yeah, I read them all. <laughs> I'm such a big brain. These books are everything I could find out about magic. The real kind. Now that I know it's real. Yeah, isn't it great? We're gonna be witches, just like in the movies. <laughs> no, honey. Oh, good. You're a wild seed, too. What does wild seed mean? It means your parents work magic, so you're like a wildflower. She holds out her hand for me to shake. Me and my family's all magical, honey. So I always knew I'd be a witch. I'm Virginia. She has a pretty strong grip. Artemis, you're breaking my hand. Please let go. Pleased to meet you. Is it a problem being wild? I met a professor and he was sort of rude about it. A professor? Shaggy black hair, big nose. Snape? Yeah, I sort of bumped into him. Oh no, now you'll be on Grabby's blacklist. The professor grabs girls. Aww, swore. No, that's his name. Professor Grabinir. Grabby's better. He hates me. He hates everybody, so it doesn't take much difference. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares if you're a born witch or not, really. And everybody's scared of Grabby. He's a monster. William warned me about him. Who's William? My big brother. Bigger brother. He's a senior. Dylan's a freshman like us. They're in Wolfhall. But enough about boys. What sports do you play? What do you like? Um, it's never enough about boys. All the boys, all the time. I'm joking. I like softball, but I'm better at volleyball. Good strong arms. Me, I prefer soccer. What about you, Artemis? Uh, I guess I'm mostly best at track. I like to run. Oh, same! Hands up, guys. Hands up if you like track. Your legs? Oh. Your legs, her arms, and my fighting spirit. We're the total package. Go, horses! Ooh. Nay. Are there sports teams for wizards here? Not exactly. There's bounders, but that's not a real sport. What there is, a gym. And we can start our own sports team if we have to. Right, Artemis? Hey. Hey. Hey, yes. Go sports. Woo. Sorry, sorry. I'm rolling you over, aren't I? I'll let you unpack. Come on, Ellen. I'll introduce you to my brothers. Oh, God. Someone's trying to contact me on the books of face. No. <laughs> Bear with me. Come on, Ellen. I'll introduce you to my brothers. Huh. Okay. Uh, I want to meet him too. I want to meet him too. The only wizard I've met so far was that horrible professor. I can unpack later. I mean, you've just met Virginia, but oh, okay, whatever. I hate unpacking too. I made my mom do it. Shall we? Um, do you still want me to come? Why wouldn't I? Come on. Virginia leads us unerringly through the maze of school hallways to one of the boys' sections. Oh, we're going into the boys' section. <laughs> Time to meet all the lovely boys. Need a hand, ladies? No, I'm just looking for... <laughs> Suddenly, a water balloon flies out of an open door and smacks into the side of Virginia's head. Donald! <laughs> yes! A perfect shot. The two boys exchange high fives. 
This is my brother Donald, the complete dork. You are going to be in so much trouble. What are you going to do, urchin? Tell mom on me. She's not here. I don't have to do anything. You'll end up being in detention by the end of the week just by being you. Look at me. I'm all wet. Well, you're a witch now, right? Magic yourself dry. <laughs> He's got some sass. <laughs> He's got some sass. Come on, Luke. Don returns to his room, followed by the other boy. He bumps into the doorframe briefly on his way out of sight. <laughs> me? It's a fun story. I was at work and I was walking down the corridor and I full on just walked into the wall. Bear in mind, this is like a full floor of people at computers, right? And I thought that nobody saw me. And then I locked, locked eye, like, eye contact with one of the guys on my old team. Oh god, alarms! Um, let me just turn them off. So I locked eye contact with him just as I like crashed into the wall. So I thought I'd gotten away with it and I hadn't. And then he started laughing. And then I started laughing. And it was a whole drama. But it's okay now. Because that's in the past and this is the future. Okay, Donald returns to his room, followed by the other boy. Yeah. G v? Is that you? Hey, V. Well moved in. <laughs> Hello. Are you wet? Thanks to Donald and his new best friend. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, let me. He holds out his hand and a gust of hot air blows through the corridor, melting away the droplets of water that clung to Virginia's hair. Aren't you going to introduce us? Right. Guys, this is William, my good brother. Virginia grabs Ella's hand and drags her forward. And these are my new roommates, Ellen and Artemis. It's a pleasure to meet you. You too. Oh, William, you're so dreamy. You keep an eye on V now. She's a little scamp, so she'll get you in trouble. Is that your nickname? V? No, that's just what William calls me, which is better than what Donald calls me. I use my whole name. It's not that long. I mean, it is, though. It's like, it's like three syllables. That's long. You keep your poly rolling along now. Freshman orientation is tomorrow, and you'll have a busy week ahead of you. Not to mention initiation. Initiation? You'll find out. I suppose he's right. We should get back to our room. I still have to unpack. Tomorrow, we start learning magic. Hell yeah. At 9am on Monday morning, all the freshmen are gathered in the gymnasium, wearing capes and robes just like me. But they're not completely like me. One boy has furry ears and a long fluffy tail. Oh, he's cute. One girl has glittering wings. She's pretty. Of course she's in the butterflies. And that girl looks like a vampire. Cool. Is that what it means to be born a witch? Being something other than human? Virginia looks normal, but she could be hiding something under her robes. No, that's just silly. The muttering and shuffling of students drops off as someone steps up to the podium. Hello, my little flower buds. Welcome to Iris Academy. I start to applaud but freeze as I realise that no one else is clapping. Then Virginia beside me picks up the clapping loudly. Soon the whole room is cheering. Woo! Go magic and things. The witch holds up her hands and the room settles back into silence. My name is P Professor Potsdam and I will be one of your instructions in the instructors in the ways of magic. Right. One thing that's really annoyed me about this game is there's like two teachers that we ever see. Like, there's her and Grabby. I'm like, in an entire school of magic and wizards, there's only two. There's only two teachers? Come on now. Come on now. For some of you, this is the beginning of an adventure such as you never imagined. For others, this is uh, this is only the next step in a journey you have been expecting all of your lives. At Iris Academy, we teach spelling using the <sighs> that system. Red magic is forceful but not necessarily violent. Blue is the colour of transformation and change. Green is the colour of life and the world of plants and animals. White magic affects the mind and spirit, and black magic is contained within physical objects. Your palette should contain at least a few dabs of every, every magical colour, but a beautiful painting doesn't need every shade. 
It's the style that matters. You all have different strengths, different talents. Here at Iris Academy, we embrace that diversity and tailor your education to your needs. Choose your schedule to focus your personal talents. Don't try to become a reflection of your classmates. Follow your own star wherever it may lead you. This is the way in which you are all alike. You each have your own future, and I know you'll make us proud. Her starry-eyed way of speaking reminds me a little bit of my old school's guidance counsellor, but she certainly seems nicer than Professor Grabby. I wonder which classes she teaches. You've been divided into halls to help you make friends with classmates who share similar interests. For the girls, you have the adventurous horses, the charming butterflies, and the mysterious snakes. Each group claps as their name is called. The horses clap louder than the others, or perhaps that's just because I'm sitting with more of them. For the boys, you have the daring wolves, the elegant falcons, and the eldritch toads. I'm not sure what eldritch means, but toads, toads sound even worse than snakes. I hope you'll all become good friends, not just in each hall, and not just in your year, but throughout the whole academy. Yay, friendship! But most importantly, I hope you'll get to know and trust your roommates. So that by the end of the year, you're able to work as a team for your final exams. Oh, I missed that bit. So we need to keep our roommates on our good side. I know you're all, you're all looking forward to your exams. Yes. Woo, exams. The audience predict predictably groans. I'm just the only one cheering like, yeah, go exams, woo! For testing purposes, your instructions will regularly set your your instructors will regularly set your practical challenges in the school dungeons. The school has dungeons. <laughs> Troll in the dungeons. Each task has many possible solutions. You will need to make creative use of the spells you have chosen to learn. So think ahead about what might be useful and how. Okay, are you all ready for magic? Open your diaries and begin penciling in your schedule. So, I believe for the first exam, um, you need like quite a high level in one area of magic. Now, I've never actually passed the first exam. So, what we're going to do this time is we're going to pass this first exam. Alright, that's what we're going to 